Hey, how is everybody? So this is a quick, strange little video that I'm going to be putting together. It's another one of those me speaking just without a script and purely off of um, some evidence that I am being just reading off of real quick through articles and what I quickly wrote up. Uh, I'm talking a little quieter so I don't wake up all the roommates, but I just wanted to get this video out purely because it probably is going to not be relevant in a few days or so. So I just wanted to stay on topic for the moment and also because a few people did point out um, some evidence that was presented on a recent video in which I actually did talk about this. So what are we talking about today? And today is, I'm sorry, I'm a little disoriented at the moment. Today is, again, going to be looking into the reports of Trunko, and if you do not know what Trunko is, or are just joining us, or just looking into this information at the moment from this video, it was originally discovered, or quote discovered, or reported upon in October of 1924 by the people of Margate, South Africa, in which they witnessed an attack or battle between two orcas and people believed to be either a polar bear or elephant because it had a trunk. All that was really known was that it looked as though it was a giant creature with white uh, fur in the ocean. And the corpse then later washed up on shore and then was quickly gone, I believe. I'm not 100% sure what actually happened to the corpse. Um, there's some evidence saying that, hold on, let's see if I can pull it up on my reports, or my recounts from last time. Uh, yes, it seems that, yeah, okay, there, there really was no look into from the corpse after the fact. Okay, so why is this becoming relevant? Well, this actually popped up once more today, actually, or tomorrow or whenever this is being posted it was originally discovered on february 22nd excuse me and what now where is this all coming from it's coming from the coast of cagliano of the dinagate islands i really i really need to work on my pronunciation i apologize for anyone from that area if i'm completely butchering how to pronounce this it's late, uh, but basically what popped up, or what is kind of semi going viral at the moment, um, I don't consider it really, uh, is that local residents were, or discovered this strange blob, or uh, is what I would consider it. It's just a giant mass of what they're saying to be either strange hair of some creature, or some weird creature in its own from the depths of the sea that no one knows about at the moment. Um, it's a little weird. I don't know why this went entirely as viral as it did, and I, I'm not, I'm not sh like hating on anyone who took interest on this. But and I do appreciate the people who, on my recent video, uh, pointed out the e this evidence and actually provided links. Thankfully for all you guys. Um, that directed me to the some of the photos that I could use for this video. However, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why this story popped back up. Um, I mean, granted, I do know why. It's just the internet. That's why it, these things happen. But I mean, guys, come on. It's it's clearly a, the corpse of a whale. Now a lot of people are um, throwing out the term uh, globster. I, I, I to be honest, I didn't I didn't know that the term was beforehand, but basically it is just the definition for an unidentified natural mass that would appear on the shoreline of basically just bodies of water. Most of the time it is with a sea or an ocean line. And I don't know, basically just it's either that people are calling it and a lot of people are calling it Trunko as well because it does look a lot or it, it does look a lot like some of the reports of the original case that was reported upon in South Africa. Now, I don't like how a lot of the news organizations, not not news organizations, sorry, smaller blogs and like little tiny articles that, because no one, no big organization is going to look into this that I know of. Don't quote back later if someone did in the future. I would not have any knowledge of that, but it's just... I don't know, it's just so weird that, it, like, I'm reading one right now and it says, 
Trunko is the other name for a creature or globster supposedly located like in this area and uh, I don't know the original story was not in the Philippines so why I don't know why are people I get I, I think people are just riding along the namesake of, of um, Trunko in order to I, don't, I guess make the story seem more legit or more entertaining for people in order to keep looking into it. I mean it's this article is only three paragraphs, and one of those paragraphs is defining what globsters are. So I don't know why this is even a thing that people are looking into, and it's mainly just small, again, small little things that are posting into this. And I'm not gonna like call anyone out on this because I get it, it's just a thing. But it's kind of, it's not annoying, but I feel like people should just know this by now, or at least should be able to just look into these types of stories and know what they should be at least or what they could be um just looking up when i when i saw the photos i wasn't because yeah let me backtrack for a moment when people were commenting on my video that i posted in september of last year which was just like a joke video i just thought the topic was interesting and i looked into it and i was like okay cool i'll do a video on that i'll make it part of the terror tuesday series and uh, i woke up this morning or yesterday or again whenever this gets posted and there were i think four to five comments on the trunko video from terror tuesday back from last year and that had got no activity for like literally nine to ten months so there, i was really confused as to why i was there and the first one was just a facebook link the second one was just a link that doesn't actually work sorry for the guy who posted that you can't like post the same link nine times and put no space in between it because it won't pop up even though it does pop up as a link it just doesn't work and then like other people were posting YouTube videos that actually talked about it and the videos didn't really talk about it they just kind of showed the image and just kept going on its own and just put weird music into the background so I don't really know why those videos were around but they came out pretty quickly so you know and also they were mistitled because it just says sea monster trunko found in Philippines February 22nd 2017 and it literally says trunko is the nickname of an animal or globster reportedly cited again not originally cited in the Philippines on that date and this is just copied and pasted from another article that I just read because this is the same last line according to the article entitled fish like a polar bear every article and video is reposting that so whatever this original article was everyone's cashing in on it and a lot of the comments even just have it literally says trunko lobster whale qu carcass sea monster giant polar bear gahara kaiju real life appa sightings they wrote that three times across so calling you out uh hara you i'm probably butchering your name too i apologize for that but your video is the number one video trending for Trunko, and you only spelled Trunko right one time in the title. Yeah, so you're not. <laughs> I don't. I'm, I sound very um, unimpressed at the moment because it, there's so many. There's so many videos that are popping up. There's, here's another one. Trunko found. It, same. Same titles. Same thing. And this is 4,000 views. Oh my god. All right then, this has nothing. There's no links, there's nothing. There's no SEO score. It's literally just the photos posted and music in the background again. And this has, from, from a channel with no subscribers, 4,000 views. And this video may or may not get that many views. I don't, I don't care about the views. I just would rather more people figure out that this may or may not be true. Don't rely completely on it. I mean, one guy I am going to point out who does pretty awesome stuff. Um, William DeFalco, I believe your name's pronounced. Check out his channel. I'll, I'll post it down below. He actually talked about Trunko a while back too, and he did a pretty good, a good job summing up the original story. And there's other people who did really awesome jobs. Just look into any of like the 
weird like myth and legend channels that talk about things and they'll they'll point in the right direction and they'll talk about the origin story i'll put my own video in there as well um it's a little dated it's a little short it doesn't really go into too much detail because again chunko is a one-time report so there's not a whole lot to go off of but i just wanted to point out one last thing before i do wrap this up i don't want to rant on forever but the original photos that are being posted up now people are saying it's whatever it's whatever it's the globster it's Tronco, I get it. It's unidentifiable at the moment. I don't think anyone's really done any DNA research on this. May or may not be able to due to tissue deterioration. It looks like in a pretty bad state at the moment. But I just want you to look at this photo popping up and any others that I may find. Um, this one I just have the name for at the moment. This is a whale cor uh, carcass from Widemouth Bay in Cornwall, England. Does this look familiar? Does this look familiar by any chance? And other images may pop up after this, but I want to put this side by side to the sightings of the photos that are we have now from uh, yesterday, again, when I recorded. Does this not look like the exact same thing? It's white. It looks like hair. It's deteriorated. It's large. It doesn't look identifiable. I'm gonna call this one a whale carcass, guys. There's no doubt in my mind that this is not a creature or it was a creature this isn't any weird like cryptid it's not some unidentifiable thing i'm pretty sure uh, i would say 99.99 percent that this is just a dead washed up and decayed whale carcass who is at, currently at the state of just blubber there's nothing left but the blubber and it looks like hair because it's just ripped apart Ooh, excuse me again and that's it that's that's all i'm going to talk into for this video I just, again i just wanted to um point out that point out the story while it was re uh yeah just wanted to point out the story while it was relevant at the moment i know it's a little strange and a little weird too but i am gonna there are other videos that i want to touch base on that relate to topics that i already talked about in other videos way back because there are weird stories popping up that seem to relate to them recently at least in the past few days so you'll probably see like one or two of these videos coming out um i'll probably tie them into the the terror tuesday like revisited series that i was i've talked about a few times and for if you're curious for my uh normal normal schedule i'm a little all over the place at the moment i'm trying to really hammer down a time for when i can record and when i can edit my videos later on but at the moment they're gonna be still a little scarce so i apologize for that and hopefully the quality is a little better so that i can um substitute for the lack of quantity because quality over quantity even though sometimes that's not entirely true <laughs> sometimes you you want a few more videos out each week and i i understand that and i'll do my best to make sure that they do come out quicker and they do come out at a much better quality for you guys to enjoy and i know it's it's hard for a channel when you subscribe to them and they don't actually post anything uh as frequently as you may watch so i understand that i watch youtube videos all the time too so don't worry i'm on the same page as you guys but if you guys have any articles or any information or anything that you want me to look into, post that down below in the comments. I'll very much be interested to read them. Like I said, I've read the other ones and that's what brought me to this video and what brought you guys to watch it. So if you have anything, post that down below and um, check out my social media. The links will be in the screen right there as well as in the, the, the uh, uh, stuttering as well as in the description below. And also make sure to check out my Patreon. That probably would have popped up in a card, so I would click that. That's also in the link below if you wish to support this channel. If not, it doesn't matter. A little like and a little subscription can also go a very long way. Until then, guys, I shall see you all. This will be it for this video. And remember, stay spooky.